Meet Arnold. I'm not even gonna try to stop him. Bravo! That was epic, Arnold! Why do you look so surprised? You opened a dimensional portal, and the universe threw you into a GTA 5 game. Welcome to Los Santos. Are you ready to become the richest and most powerful man in the city? Get in the car and let's go. Meet Michael, one of the three main characters of the game. What about the first mission? Show us your shooting skills, Arnie. So, more to the point, it's no secret that Los Santos is totally criminal in a very dangerous city. To begin with, I propose we change your image. Otherwise, you look like a Minecraft fan. A couple of brutal tattoos certainly wouldn't hurt. Now, you're a real gangster ready to rob a bank. Plan is this. You quietly enter the building, shoot the armored glass out, blow up the vault door, and take all the gold. Now let's blow this taco stand. To run faster, in GTA, you don't need to run, but to jump. Did you know that the real weight of the weapons and gold that you now have is over half a ton? But in GTA, it doesn't matter. They're right behind you. You need to hide. And do Doing this is very simple. You just need to hide in a quiet place, and after a while, they'll forget about you. Wow, look! You've done really well, Arnold. Now you can safely spend your money on parties, expensive suits, buy up all the real estate in the city, and wake up to the most beautiful view from your window. But this gets pretty boring pretty fast. Did you forget? You're a real gangster now, Arnie. Oh, yeah! The extreme car chase! It's really cool! Move, Arnold! Or you get shot! An airplane? Past like if you know how to fly in GTA. Hmm, it seems you're out of luck, Arnold. Somehow you've ended up in a modified GTA with a giant megalodon. All right, you're wasted, Arnold. Mission failed. Wait, Arnold, you survived! What is this? New GTA! Apparently the results of a very important match depends on you, and you are now football star Ronaldo. No, it's a common mistake. This is Ronaldo, a Brazilian player, and you're the holder of five golden balls, Cristiano Ronaldo, the Portuguese player. It's time to strike. Well, what did I expect with your physical form? Now, probably you should run away from all of the furious fans. Fortunately, you can hide from the millions of angry fans in your huge house. Arnaldo, you're in the servant's house, dumbass. Your magnificent mansion is a little further up the road. Such a huge house must have servants. In addition, there's a gym, a swimming pool, a billiard room, a spa, and two secret entrances that guarantee that no journalist will ever see you. Arnaldo, where are you? Oh, I know. Can you imagine that Ronaldo's body is only 7% body fat, though he's 35 years old? According to his biological readings, he has the health and body of a 23-year-old. Cristiano consumes about 3,000 calories a day, which he breaks up into six smaller meals. I know you do this too, but you don't move at all. Did you really think everything was gonna be so easy? Cristiano has the most popular Instagram on Earth, with almost 250 million subscribers, which is like 34% of Europe's population, or 76% of the USA's. And since they can't get to you in the real world, they're gonna get you through the internet. Did you somehow manage to screw this up as well? Looks like it's time to run away from your own house, dipwad. Yes, this is your garage. McLaren Senna, Rolls-Royce Phantom, Bugatti Chiron and Veyron, and a Ferrari 599 worth $7 million. Just don't slip on your saliva. Or I guess it can help you sail aboard your plush, luxury, $6 million, 27-meter yacht. Well, looks like you found a way to dodge the bullet once again. Arnold, watch out! The situation's not looking very good, Arnold. Wow, looks like you got lucky again, buddy. 
<laughs> Mr. Beast, cool! Arnold, it seems like you're lucky and you'll be able to take part in one of the challenges. Mr. Beast is now the most popular blogger on the planet. His channel has almost 130 million subscribers. This is 33 times more than yours. So, Mr. Beast gives you a million dollars and you have to spend it here in a huge supermarket. Yes, he's definitely gunning for the title of a new superhero. But there's also a dark side to his good deal. So, for example, in one of the supermarkets, hundreds of people were waiting for Mr. Beast, who promised to pay for everyone's purchases. But in the end, he didn't come. People just abandoned their carts full of groceries in the middle of the store. The entire staff was forced to work the night shift to put the goods back on the shelves before they spoiled. But you seem to be in luck. You have one million dollars and five minutes to spend it. Where do we start? Fifty PlayStation. 5s, 50 huge TVs for them, 800 pairs of sneakers. I hope they're your size. Arnie, maybe you'll think not only about yourself and grab something for me. Thank you, friend. Leave a comment to give me a gift. Arnie, you managed to spend exactly a million dollars. How are you going to pay? Cash. Oops. Uh-oh. It's a prank. It's just Monopoly money. Arnold, don't be such an idiot. You have a billionaire president right in front of you. You can ask him for anything. And by the way, what did you ask for? It's a shame that this time Trump is the one mocking you and not me. Because now you're going to replace him for an entire day. Why will it be a mockery? Just look at what he eats. Chips, burgers, rivers of cola. You'll kick the bucket before the end of the day. After eating Egg McMuffins and cola for breakfast, you're going to have a meeting with the security services. Sign some documents and, well, ah oh hell, screw this. Let's go have some fun around the city. You're now waiting for the presidential motorcade. These are 12 identical bulletproof cars that can withstand the explosion of a bomb. It's lunchtime and a big pizza is waiting for you, smothered in ketchup and chocolate milkshake. This is kind of boring. Maybe we should declare a state of emergency. Or I know, we could troll Kim Jong-un. Maybe we should endorse a law like every American citizen must be subscribed to Meet Arnold. Home sweet home. For dinner, we have chicken legs from KFC and, of course, more cola. Something tells me that Trump eats this way just for the image. But in reality... Oh, so that's why he takes an annual salary of just one dollar. You asked for his salary as a reward. You're such a maroon. So, you got your dollar. But you have to pay taxes for the whole $400,000, which is Trump's original salary, although he gives that away to federal agencies. So, Arnold, which kidney are you going to sell? Somehow, Arnold has mysteriously won a monstrous mountain of moolah in the lottery. I don't want to rain on your parade, Arnold, but you just dove into a pool of billions of germs. Moreover, believe it or not, 90% of banknotes contain traces of cocaine. It seems you've been living a little too high on the hog there, buddy. What do you say? Let's pretend that all the cash in the world disappeared. Now, the only money in the world is digital money, cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency exists only on electronic registers, which carry information about quantity, payments, and other transactions. After all cash is out of circulation, banks will look something like a regular old SSD drive. Instead of keeping gold bars in safes, people will now put their laptops and ledgers with cryptocurrency inside. The modern version of gold is now Bitcoin. The supply of Bitcoins is limited to a maximum of 
million, of which about 19 million have already been mined. And if in the ancient world, everyone tried to acquire more land in order to graze cattle there and grow crops, now everyone is striving to get their hands on a video card, the more powerful the better, to start okay. mining cryptocurrency. Mining of cryptocurrency involves processing a complex mathematical calculation, which adds transaction records to the so-called blockchain. Upon choosing the right combination of numbers, the miner receives a reward for a smidgen of the cryptocurrency. Yesterday, you were rich, Arnold. Today, you're fighting a bum for two ten thousandths of a Bitcoin. Arnold, are you going to try mining some crypto? Yeah, it's not a lot. But don't worry, there's still a way to make some virtual dosh. This is an NFT auction where digital paintings are sold. Mike Winkleman drew one picture a day for 13 and a half years and sold this this collage for 1,500 bitcoins. That's equal to over $67 million. I have a great idea, Arnie, old buddy, old pal. We'll sell you at the NFT auction. Piece by piece. What's that? A contract? Have you already been cast in something? Take your time, Arnold, and read through that carefully before signing. I'm thinking Yay. you could make some money renting out that big, empty space between your ears. What do you think, Arnold? That space inside your big red head is so empty, I think we could store my grampy's old motorcycle in there. Arnold, for this role, it looks like you're going to have to triple your weight. Actors, in order to get as close to a role as possible, often have to gain or lose weight in a very very short period of time. Christian Bale from 2008 to 2013 had to lose weight nine times and also had to gain as much as 30 kilograms. That's 66 pounds. To quickly make progress gaining weight, use a bigger plate. That way, big portions will look smaller. <gasps> Add in lots of snacks, Arnold, like dried fruits, nuts, and peanut butter sandwiches. And don't forget about desserts. Arnold, it looks like gaining weight is your secret talent. You're really good at this. Well, soon you'll be ready to play the lead role. You're gonna be a star. So that's why they needed an actor with such a tremendous weight? Too bad, Arnie. Looks like all your effort was in vain. And your pay ain't even enough to get you home. So you decided to go on foot, did you, Arnold? Hey, Arnold, are you okay? Due to all the extra weight, your bones are under enormous stress. We need to calculate your body mass index. At 60 inches and 206 pounds, your BMI is higher than 40, and that's class 3 obesity, buddy. You need some serious help. Here, call this number. My friends are going to take you to a special place. Here, in just a few minutes, all the excess fat is going to be pumped out of you. Yeah. Uh, you look amazing. Oh, no. Meh, the saggy skin will help remind you not to make stupid choices in the future. And as for all your pumped out fat, on the black market, some cosmetics companies are willing to pay up to $15,000 for just 2.2 pounds of the stuff. So, Arnold, go on back home. Arnie, did you waste all your money on the online farm again? Okay, fine. Now you're going to have to eat virtual food. By the way, did you know that Bill Gates is a McDonald's gold card holder? It gives you the right to eat there for free. And you obviously need it more than anyone else. Where to start? I suggest the special suicide burger from Burger King. It's got four patties, four slices of cheese, and bacon. 800 calories. And here comes the Mickey D's french fries. They contain 19 hidden ingredients. Arnold, eat! One burger patty can consist of parts from a hundred different cows at once. In total for the fast food industry, 50 million cows are butchered a year. Are you finished already? Then drink some soda. It's deliberately free here because it wets your appetite. Thankfully, to satisfy your urges, there are already 39,000 McDonald's open in 120 countries around the world. 
world. And in the UK, recycled oil from french fries even fuels trucks. Over the past 20 years, the number of overweight people in the world has tripled. You better stop, Arnold, because with a diet like this, you'll gain 10% of your body weight per month. And this will lead to... Arnold, stop already! You now have type 2 diabetes, you're depressed, and your blood vessels are chock full of fat. And this could easily cause you to suffer a heart attack. Fast food is extremely high calorie and is practically devoid of vitamins and minerals. My advice, you need to urgently switch to healthy food cooked at home. Otherwise, you're in big trouble. There you go. Good for you, Arnold. How about I'm going to visit you for dinner tonight? O-M-G! Arnold! What in tarnation did you make? Roasted piglet? Chocolate caramel cake? That's not what I meant! It's not just about not eating fast food, buddy. It's about any kind of high-calorie food, and you're overeating. Get up, lazy butt! I have something for you, Arnold. You now have just 24 hours to live. I think you should Google what to do in such a situation. Yeah. First, clear your browser history. And here are the top three answers to this burning question. How would you spend the last day of your life with loved ones? I think for you, Arnold, this probably ain't the right answer. The second option is to gorge yourself on junk food. Well, you already do that every day. And finally, number three, spend the day at the ocean with a loved one. Ooh, it just got interesting. Arnold, are you really going to do what you've been dreaming of all your life? Whoopsie daisy, somebody ran out of gas and money. money, money, money. Great idea! You can get a loan and really live it up on your last day. Get the maximum. You'll feel like the richest dude on the planet. Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon, makes enough money to buy a new Tesla Model S every 50 seconds. You're rich now, Arnold. You can rent your own plane and fly anywhere you want. What are you up to? Wow, you're gonna take Tagaya from her boyfriend and take her on a trip with you. Arnold, you're my hero. Ah, uh, if only we could turn back time and make this moment really last. What if I told you it's possible? To keep the day from ending, you need to overtake the sun. To do this, we gotta fly west along the equator at a speed of 1,667 kilometers per hour. If you can fly at that speed, the day will never end. Regrettably, this won't affect your lifetimer in the slightest. It's your last few seconds, Arnold. You're alive! Ah, I see. According to the contract you signed, you have no right to die until you pay off the loan. The cheapest ticket on a cruise ship is $860. Get in the box. Hurry, you schmuck! While all 6,000 passengers and almost 2,200 crew members are posing for a photo of their anniversary cruise in front of the ship, you have a chance to get on board. At the moment, we don't have any ad revenue. Or any money at all, really. Hey, don't touch anything here. Somehow, your imbecility is heraldic, Arnold. You've managed to fulfill the dreams of oh so many. To be absolutely alone on a massive cruise ship. Woo! 
For just a simple seven-day trip, they have more than 12,000 eggs, 380 kilograms of ice cream, and two tons of seafood and meat on board. This amount of food will be enough to last you around five years if you eat it all by your lonesome. After going on a cruise like this one, people on average gain up to three kilograms of excess weight. Cruise ships have a ton of entertainment, so much so in fact that for most passengers, seven days isn't enough to do and see it all. Oops, looks like we're out of fuel. At full speed, the ship burns up to five tons of fuel per day. Now you'll drift in the ocean just like all the other cruise liners do, because it's cheaper than staying in port. Arnold, looks like your vacation's going to be a wee bit longer than we expected. A whole month has passed. I wonder where this current will carry you. Congratulations, Arnold. Now the whole world hates you. Yay. Pack your bag, schmucko. And that's what happens when you hit the snooze button 10 times in a row. You can oversleep the general evacuation of the whole planet. Come on, Arnold. Don't go <laughs> rushing to get your panties all in a twist. People left a bunch of really cool stuff behind. What are you going to do first? Seriously? A really huge burger? But what about cool cars and the opportunity to live in Trump's apartment? Do something cool. Wow, Arnie, you are a true hero. Releasing all the animals from the zoo, it's damn noble. Come on, folks, leave a like for this. But what about pets? There are 500 million cats and just as many dogs on Earth. And once they're free, they become prey to predators. But let's not talk about sad things when the whole dang planet is open for business. Yeah, the coolest roller coaster. The car accelerates to 206 kilometers an hour and drops from a height of 127 meters. Before, Arnold, they didn't let you in here because of your height, but now it's no problem. Hmm, somehow it doesn't look like it's all that fun. Without people, electricity will gradually disappear. Lithium batteries self-discharge after seven years, and you can forget about solar energy after about 20 years when the last panel fails. And nuclear power plants in a few decades will stop. Oh. So go ahead, you just sit in the dark now. You deserve it. Oh, man, it hurts just looking at you. Okay, I have an idea. See, we're surrounded by trillions of bacteria that generate useless energy from the organic matter they feed on. So what I'm thinking is, let's build a bacterial power plant that uses your poop for fuel. Hmm, not enough for all your gadgets, is it? But what did you expect? Bacteria are really, really tiny. I know, let's embigify them. A bacterium the size of a cattle give us 46,000 times more energy. And we can get even more bacteria and more fuel. America produces 128 billion liters of sewage a day. This could provide electricity to an entire city and will also solve the problem of water purification. Ginormous halobacteria that feed on salt can provide free energy from the ocean and desalinate water for desert regions. Three and a half million tons of plastic are thrown away every day. The embigified Idionella sakaiensis can recycle this plastic into energy. Then you can open up an electric vehicle charging network. Unlike fuel energy, which annually emits 37 and a half billion tons of CO2 into the atmosphere. Bacterial energy is absolutely pure and emits only oxygen. Sounds like a great startup idea. Arnold, you've solved humanity's environmental problems and made trillions of dollars in the energy business to boot. Arnold! 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 Wake up! What? Are you dreaming about cat-sized bacteria again? You should know that cell division is only possible in microscopic organisms. Once a bacterium reaches its maximum size, it simply divides into two. This happens every 20 minutes. So in just six hours, one bacterium can multiply into 25,000. And your debts are multiplying at the same rate. Time to pay up, Arnold. Hurry, hurry. July 20th, Arnold went on an intergalactic cruise. 
After coming back on the 27th, he returned to find not a single male left on Earth. Everything has gone wrong. Telephones and microwaves don't work. Uber has been replaced with bicycles and horse-drawn carts. Instead of lamps and houses, candles have been lit again. This is because all of the areas in which mostly men previously worked have now ground to a halt. Arnold, why are you running away? Every day, your body produces up to 70 million spermatozoa. You could physically fertilize up to eight women per day. But since many have disdained even touching you, it was decided to artificially plant your seed in the egg cells. And so the number of pregnant women has increased to 15 million. Now, you're not just more popular than all the Kardashian sisters put together. You become a matter of national importance. Women please you and carefully examine you. But there's a flip side to all of this. You're a prisoner, and you have no right to leave the country or evade your obligations. Your seed is now worth more than any precious metal in the world, and soon will instigate a third world war. It will all end in... God, just click the start broadcast button. It worked! Say hello to everyone from me. Hey, where are you going? Ah, okay. Wait, please tell me, did you at least turn off the broadcast? <sighs> it's over. Wait a second. People seem to like it. Just look at this, Arnold. We found the perfect content that millions of users want to watch. You have more subscribers than Eminem, Pootie Pie, and even T-Series. This is unbelievable. Your voice is heard from all screens around the world. And that means that we are rich. Woohoo! All the coolest oh. brands have splashed a wave of advertising offers at you. Celebrities are lining up to film collaborations with you. But who cares about these celebrities? Lolita herself started following you on Instagram. Well, of course this is happening since just a couple of hours ago, your solo album was released on iTunes, which has already surpassed Ed Sheeran and Billie Eilish. Arnold, now is perhaps the most important moment of your life. You're entrusted with performing a New Year's song on Christmas Eve. Hmm, seems like you ruptured your vocal cords. Look, these are the actors from the T-Series channel. I love this Indian motif. Jimmy, 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 acha, 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 acha. What's going on here? Arnold is a star. Have you seen his channel? How is this possible? It's all T-Series' fault. Don't forget to subscribe to the... Wait a minute. Hold on. Wow, Arnold, congratulations. You died and went to heaven. Arnold, get in line and wait for St. Peter to let you in. Ooh, how cool is this? Hey, wow, look, is that John Lennon? No, wait, it's just Jesus. Here there's even a wall of paintings of God made by great historical artists. Here there's e In ancient times, people believed that God was oh. terrifying and bloodthirsty. For example, Aztecs constantly sacrificed people to their god Huitzilopochtli to make it rain. The ancient Greek gods personified human qualities or natural phenomena. Unfortunately, Arnie, in the Christian paradise, unlike the Muslim one, you don't get 72 virgins. But hey, look, right there, it's John Lennon. Or is that Jesus again? And here he is. He has many names. The Creator, Jehovah, Adonai, Yahweh, God. Oh, shh, he's sleeping. You probably shouldn't mess with his stuff, Arnie. Arnold, what are you thinking? You can't go in there. This is the control center for the whole world. Don't touch anything, Arnold. Oh, this is not good. Over the past few centuries, religious belief in the world has been dropping. And God is the most popular being in the world, has a lot of haters. You dare play God, Arnold. Man is simply too greedy for this role. There are lots of examples from history, and they all ended pretty badly. Arnold, stop! This ain't a joke, buddy. Great. Now everything's gone haywire.
Fanatical faith has always led to wars. And now a nuclear crusade has begun. Arnold, stop before it's too late. Are you even listening to me? Phew, just in time. Hey, God, don't take this the wrong way, but thank God you're here. Arnold, looks like you're done. Thank <laughs> you.